Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to do a quick video showing you my work in progress on a stained glass window that I am building for a, a 40k terrain project. And so far what I've got is a, a white plastic frame and some clear acrylic pieces of plastic here, like this orange one here. And the eventual plan is that I'll be uh, I'll be making this frame here in black plastic and then I'll be putting these pieces of clear acrylic into it and they are supposed to stay there with just a little bit of help from glue and uh, so far I can get them to fit in the frame but they are right now just falling out of it. So um, and I do think that even if I use a bit of uh, a bit of um, even if I use a bit of glue or something I don't think it'll stay. You can see here that it's It'll fit, but it'll just like fall off. So it's um, it's supposed to be a tighter fit, and I'm working together with a very very helpful uh, man who is uh, who is trying to teach me how to use computers and laser cutters and stuff to to do something like this. I am definitely not a technical genius. I'm actually a little bit a little bit slow on the technical front so uh, i need a bunch of help and he has been very very helpful so i really appreciate that thank you trolls it's very kind of you and um so this is as far as i am right now and i just want to show you how i got this far at least and hopefully there will be a follow-up video with the actual finished product let's hope i'm keeping my fingers crossed so the first thing I did was I made this drawing and it's uh, something I just drew by hand. I don't know if you can see it clearly enough, um, but it's got like, you can still see the traces of the pencil I used for making the original uh, sketch. And then I just used a black Sharpie to make sure that it was very clearly visible and would fit easily into the computer scanner. So once I was happy with the uh, drawing that I drew by hand, we uh, scanned it into the computer and tried seeing if the laser cutter could just interpret this as it was and uh, cut out something from it. It turned out that the laser cutter couldn't quite understand what, uh, what this was, so I had to go back and then redraw the entire thing uh, in a computer program. So every little, every single line here had to be redrawn in a computer program. It, uh, it took a bit of time. I've never worked with computers like that before in my creative work. So it was, uh, it was a tiny bit challenging, but uh, also fun. And it's always, of course, great to learn new techniques and methods of working. So once I had done the uh, sketch on the computer, we tried uh, putting it into the laser cutter and then um, cutting it out on some, some MDF. Uh, because MDF is a very uh, cheap material, so if it just didn't work, there was no reason using the more expensive plastic. And uh, and it turned out uh, it turned out uh, actually quite all right. So I was uh, fairly happy with this. I noticed a couple of small things that I had forgotten. For instance, his uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's supposed to be purity seal on his uh, on his shoulder here, and I'd forgotten to do um, the actual purity seal so right now it's just a piece of the frame so i had to go back and re redraw a little bit but it was uh, basically uh, basically just fine just the way i wanted it to be so then we uh, went back and did it now with the uh, with the acrylics this is just a um, an opaque white acrylic piece of plastic so it's a tiny tiny bit bendable but not very much and uh, we tried doing, doing that and then we also, of course, uh, cut out some of these clear pieces of acrylic. And uh, this is as far as we are right now. And the next project then is to find out how to get these pieces of acrylic to fit into the frame, but very snugly so that they will actually stay there with just a, a tiny bit of help from glue. Uh, and not like this where you can see it's just sliding in and out. Um, so it will be something about, you know, either making the frame a little bit smaller or uh, making these individual pieces a little bit larger. So we'll have to see how, how that goes. It might take a little bit of time because there are so, so many pieces on this piece. So um, I will also have to go back and do a little bit more work on the overall design because some of the pieces are simply just too small to be practical, like his fingers holding the bolt gun here, for instance, that that just doesn't work out because the clear pieces of acrylic that we uh, cut out, they were just, you know, so, so tiny. So it was almost impossible to work with. 
So there are some things that I need to go back and work on, but uh, overall, I'm, uh, I'm fairly happy with where we are right now. I'm really excited to see if this is actually something that can be done or if we will have to, uh, you know, just, I don't know, leave it as it is and say this is good enough and then just use a whole bunch of super glue to make the pieces fit. I, I hope not because uh, I really want it to be something that looks just really, really great both uh, from a distance but also close up. So we'll see. It's uh, definitely a fun a fun project and very challenging for me because I have I just never worked with laser cutters or 3D printers or computers or anything like that before. Uh, I have always just used, you know, a pencil and a piece of paper or some paint and a model. So this is completely new territory for me. So the only reason that I can even do stuff like this is because of this really cool place called, in Danish, I'm sorry, Melmrumt, which means a sort of space or the space in between where they have all sorts of really, really nice things, sort of like um, the laser cutter. They also have great 3D printers. They have a workshop for working with wood and one for working with metal and all sorts of things. Really, really, really nice place, all driven by volunteers, which is excellent. It is uh, free to use. The only thing you have to pay is twice the cost of the materials you use, which I think is really fair. So I will leave a link to that in the show notes below. So uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you and tell you today. And I really hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, you are more than welcome, of course, as always, to leave a like or a comment or uh, subscribing to my channel. Remember, you can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, both under the tagline Dyson Demons. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.